Ladies and gentlemen, members and friends, it's Matt Bailey here, your branch director, talking about some of the goodies coming up in March Outturn. March Outturn, there's sort of two things going on for March Outturn. Half of the Outturn is sort of talking about the new wave of whiskey. Some of these new distillery codes we're seeing coming through. We're going to see quite a few coming through later this year as well. But this is our first Outturn to really focus in on a couple of new codes, namely code 141.2. Now, for those who are keen eyes on codes, uh, they'll notice that uh, 141 is not necessarily a new code in that this is the dot two and we're already up to 151 or 152 or something in the normal coding system. So this is 10 codes ago. This actually even predates, this code even predates the Australian codes we saw a couple of years ago. However, this is a Danish single malt, single cask whiskey. And the first one of this 141.1 was exclusive to the Danish branch, just like our dot ones for the Australian branch were as well. Uh, that means that we've been lucky enough to get a, a, an allocation of the dot two uh, prowling the undergrowth. This is a six-year-old premium spicy and dry flavor profile from Denmark. I'd first like to ask you, uh, you can leave a comment comment below if you, if you want to answer this. How many of you have had a Danish whiskey before? And how many of you have had a Danish single cask cast strength whiskey before? I'd wager it's not that many because it's not very well known with outside of sort of Denmark. It's, I was talking to the team at Whiskey and Almond about this particular release and about how, if you think about it, us having this single cask Danish whiskey, it's a bit like us have, it's a bit like maybe a Danish whiskey bar having a single cask Australian whiskey. It'd be very odd uh, and very, um, I guess, foreign to them and this is quite foreign to us, but it's an exciting uh, avenue into exploring a different type of whiskey. A different country entirely. And how they do things differently and what regionality makes difference, uh, how much regionality makes a difference to whiskey. <sighs> Straight up, I get like baking powder. I get uh, like flour, uh, damper bread, nettles, spiced fruit, uh, Dutch cookies, like Dutch, Dutch biscuit, I should say, um, like cinnamon sticks, vanilla bean. Always try nosing with your mouth open and closed. You get different aromas. You know, your taste buds are in different places. I just, it, there's a cool story behind this distillery, distillery 141, I won't say the name of the distillery. But the, the story behind it is, it's, uh, I want to get his name right, Jens Erik Jorgensen, who is a Dane, a very Danish name. Uh, who grew up with his mother smoking cheese using net, using dried nettles. And there was a smell and an aroma to that um, that he loved. He loved the smell of uh, that smoking net, the smoked nettles, the smoked nettle bush. Uh, and it was a great way to smoke cheese. Uh, this, is, this is sounding more Danish the more I say it. However, um, it was many years later when he was uh, a young, young man who remembered that smell from somewhere and wondered what it would like if you smoked the use those nettles to smoke barley instead to smoke grains and to create a different whiskey so this is what this is this is what this is sort of was born out of that sort of love of that smell and that aroma and now we've, we're tasting a six-year-old which in the grand scheme of new world whiskey is quite old it's very it is very savory it's very definitely spicy and dry flavor profile and now, and now it's been in the glass a little bit. I, I get a bit of like, like apricot puree. Some of the fruit's starting to show finally here. Like fresh cut grass, roast lamb notes, like almost a bit of rosemary, like rosemary low, roast lamb sort of thing going on here. It's a little bit meaty, but at the same time, quite dry, quite savory. Let's have a taste. Wow, that's lovely and savory and, and biscuity and, and very richly flavored. Uh, I, I get where that smoked nettle thing comes out. It is not a smoky whiskey though, it's not peated, but it is very fascinating. Let's see how it responds with just a drop of water here. Just, just the tiniest bit, just to open it up a tiny bit more. See how that comes along. Hmm. It's natural car strength at 60.6%, so it's definitely up there. I get much more of the fruit now with the water in there. Almost dried pineapple chunks as well. 
That's a lovely drop and something a bit rare and something a bit special. It is in the premium livery. It's it's quite young for premium livery, but it's also quite rare and, and we probably won't see another one of these distillery codes through, not for a long time, um, but this is, it's very exciting. It's it's quite juicy, it's quite fruity, but it's lovely savory spice notes, and nettles and smoked cheese almost note as well. I think this would go perfect with a cheese board. This would be your Sunday afternoon cheese board and dram kind of experience, kind of whiskey. This one's in March outturn uh, and available as of the Friday the 3rd of March. I hope you get to enjoy a dram with this as much as I have. It's on the bar at Whiskey and Helmet, but it's also in outturn, of course, this Friday or whenever you're watching this, Friday the 3rd of March. Sanjava, cheers, see you soon.